Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So, today we're going to continue on with our journey here in Red Ridge. Uh, but before we do that, I thought that it would be nice to go through... I've got all different kinds... I've got Stinker here. Uh, yeah, i got loads and loads of different pets. And I never... I've had for a, a little bit the, uh, the Harbinger of Flame sort of hanging around. Um, so I thought that I would probably... I'd try to take out a different pet each day and he can be our companion for the day. So we will summon the Vampiric Backling today. Now this one I think was um, like a special event in Karazhan quite some time ago. And I don't know if it's even possible to get the thing anymore. Um, I'm sure it is. It's probably like a, a once a year um, type um, special event or something. We have got a lot of stuff here. Maybe we should clear some of our stuff out. I think I did in actually intend to Lightly. empty the bags out a little bit be at the end of the last episode. And then I never actually got around to it because I had to log off pretty quick to deal with some stuff. Um, so, yeah, what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that lot. And then you've got to go through and you look for any... Um, what you can do is you can set, you can change the settings on your bag. So you click on there. Um, assigned a bag equipment. So now any equipment will automatically go to that bag there. And then this one here, I ignore the bag when it comes to clean up. And this bag here, I'm going to put to trade goods. And then those two are just kind of random. So then if I click clean up bags, it ignores everything in this bag, it ignores that bag. Um, it will put all gear in there. Um, the crafting goods in there and then these two here are other stuff so click and it tidies it up really nicely so we've got this is the gear that we got that one there is soul bound and we want to keep it um, then that one is soul bound and we want to keep that one as well yes it's plate we definitely want to keep it so let's just get rid of that a second and we can swap that one over and we can put on the yowling cloak as well so we've got those two. And then we can sell the Soulbound stuff. Here we've got the Message Carrier, which is an 8-slot bag. And we've got the Collection Bag, which is another 8-slot. That's one of our quests. Now, see, I do actually prefer to have this stuff down here in this bag as a priority rather than just up here. But um, I don't think there's any way that you can actually um, like prioritize this as any other bag. You can ignore it. I mean, maybe we could just do ignore the bag, but then it wouldn't um, change it properly. So we'll just have to ignore that. Um, what do we got? We we've got several bags here, actually. We've got quite a few bags. Um, and some of those are actually classed as trade goods. This here, this is all stuff that can be sold or used or cooked with or something else. You know, we can, we can do stuff with it all. Uh, so we will hang on to that. Right, we've got plenty of space. Let's just uh, very quickly speak to her and sell the two soul bound items these are not soul bound so we'd um we we'll keep hold of those and we will sell them or i will process them later i'll send them to one of my other characters and deal with them like that right on we go today we are going to start working through red ridge when we reach level 18 i'd like to go to duskwood i got a feeling that we may have to reach level 19 before we can get the quest so we we'll probably just have to stay here till we reach level 19 um at the moment, I haven't had any quest to go into a dungeon, so I don't really have any particular desire to go running Good off to a dungeon to just yet anyway. Head out to Lake Everstill. You'll be happy to know that we currently have a bounty on Murlocs. Kill as many as you can and be rewarded. Any Murloc will do. All you need to do is kill <laughs> indiscriminately. You'll find Lake Everstill directly east of Lakeshire. It's the lake. It has water in it. Any of this ring a bell? <laughs> okay, I kind of like this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got to kill ten Murlocs over in the lake. Easy enough. What can I do for you? Uh, Parker's report. Where did I put my monocle? Conacher, is that you? No, it's not Conacher. Uh, Magistrate Solomon puts on his monocle. Oh, you're not Conacher. What have you got there? Magistrate Solomon takes Parker's report from you. Oh, for pity's sake. Yowler? Again? Yes, Yowler never seems to stop plaguing this place. As we said last time, he, he's been there for quite a while. More of our citizens go missing every day. We think the gnolls are responsible, but we have no idea where they're taking them. If you're able to help us defeat the gnolls and find our people, you must be properly equipped. Unfortunately, we are all out of gnome quarters. Without a gnome quarter, there is no way for us to communicate with you when you're in the field. Our last good gnome quarter was stolen by marauding murlocs last week. You will have to go to Lake Everstill, east of here, and recover it. Recover the gnome, uh, the gnome quarter. Be careful. Okay, I can do that. 
So there's two quests. There should be another quest outside. If we go rollicking off through here. And the two children on the end of the dock. Uh, there is a quest. Oh, there's actually four kids at the end of the dock. But one of these does actually... The Hand of Chaos? Is he... Oh, hang on. No, that's a... Um, what is that? I've... This does not seem familiar. Who, who's... I am listening. The Hand of Chaos. Well, he's just Iron Forge. I don't recall seeing this before. Hello. I absolutely, I genuinely don't recall seeing the Hand of Chaos there. Anyway, Sean and Nida. Uh, my friend Nida lost her necklace and we can't find it. We've been fishing all day right here and we looked around here already. The only thing I can think of is it fell into the lake. Our parents don't want us to swim in the lake. My mum says that there's some mean things under the water. But you look like you aren't scared of mean things. Could you find it for her, please? Okay, yes, we will throw ourselves into the lake at the behest of a strange child who we've never met before. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> um, so what we got to look for for this one is a little bit of dirt, and there is some dirt. Now, I don't know if it's the case now, but it certainly used to be that when you did this quest, it wasn't just a matter of finding the, um, finding the patch of dirt. They didn't all have the necklace in. You could find... Yeah, we've got the necklace already. That was quick and easy. Um, but yeah, you there were like lots of patches of dirt. Um, that they, was, they were few and far between. But finding the patch of dirt did not necessarily mean you were going to find the necklace. And it may take a little bit longer before you were actually able to do something with it. Um, that being said, ours has been found so that we can, we can turn this one in. First quest of the day. Hi, I miss my necklace. My daddy got it for me. Daddy says there are monsters in the lake. Did you beat up any monsters? Um, I only beat up a crab. Thank you for finding my necklace, Mr. Paladin. You are very kind. My kitty thinks you are too. Isn't that right, FC? And there is young FC. Meow. Wow. I know how to speak kitty and FC said thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Let's go and find some murlocs. I know where there's a patch of murlocs that we can go to that are fairly close to here. Um, let's just make that a little bit smaller for the minute. Um, right down here we can go and we can... There's murlocs over here that I think still count as part of the bounty, but uh, these are the easiest ones to get to. We just come down here, round the corner, and there they are. There's a whole load of them. I like the fact that this bridge has been built because when you first started playing Warcraft, that bridge was still, um, I think it was damaged. I think it um, it had been built, but then it got damaged and so they were in the process of repairing it and um, there were references to the fact that it was being repaired as you played. Right, we've got three Murlocs. That'll be enough to start with, I should think. So we put down our judgment thing on the floor. It's not a judgment, it's something else. And this is a bit where they all run away. And they go and get some mates, and then they all come back again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to let them get all of their mates, and they're going to bring them over to me. Here we go. Loads of them now. Uh, I may have gotten a little bit carried away. Flash of light. Flash of light. And then we want some rough dynamite, and do some damage to them with that. And then we'll put down this one again, and then we'll hit them with the shields. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Oh, Brilliant! Okay, that was an excellent start, I think. I think we're doing fairly well with that. Uh, there's our gnome quarter. We've just got to get a few more murlocs, so we can wallop him there, and um, we can just irritate that one there. And what about you over there? Can I reach you? No, I can't. So we got four of them here. That's probably enough. So we'll go flash of light once more, and then we will put the thing on the floor. Um, the consecration, that's what it is. Um, shield, and that guy's running away. Okay, I'll let, the, I'll let them run. I'll let them run. They'll be back. Don't worry. They will be back with their buddies as well. Right, come over here. There's that one over there. So we've got a Murloc Scout over there that is almost dead. And we've got another Flesh Eater there. Flesh Eater. What a wonderful name. It, it evokes all kinds of um, wonderful things, doesn't it? The name Flesh Eater. <laughs> um... Right, we want one more. Just one, that's all. So if we go over here, I may be able... Yeah, I can taunt him over. And if I just walk back up above the water... I prefer fighting on top of the water. It just... It makes life a lot easier. Throw the shield at him and job done. Right. We're halfway through level 15 already. I'm really looking forward to level 20 when we can start using mounts. It's so much better using mounts. And then, obviously, once you get to... 
level uh, 40. Well, I say obviously. It's obvious for anybody who's played this game for any length of time. Level 20, you get um, the ability... Well, you don't get the ability. You can buy the ability to ride mounts. And then at level 40, you can buy the um, epic riding ability. So you can ride a lot faster. Now, many years ago, it used to be level 40 was what you had to get to before you could start riding any mounts at all. And then level 60 was the fast riding speed. So it's a lot, lot easier at this low... Um, now, being able to get, being able to gain access to them, I, I don't think it makes the game a lot easier. It certainly makes traveling a lot easier. It makes it quicker. That's, the, that's kind of the essential thing. It does make it a bit quicker to sort of get from point A to point B. Because there were times where it was just really, really dull. Right, excuse me. Hot stuff coming through. How are you? That ought to teach those Murlocs a lesson. Hopefully the next time they decide to raid our town, they'll think twice. We both know that won't happen. Right, do we want a better shield or do we want the Bailiff's Gloves? Uh, the Bailiff's Gloves are good, but the shield is better. 11 armor, 1 strength, 1 stamina. That is 3 armor. Armor? Armor. <laughs> armor, 1 strength, 1 stamina. This one also gives us uh, 1 critical strike as well, so we definitely want that Have one. Have a good one. Take that, and then we go to B, and see it automatically places it into the right uh, bag as you gain the stuff, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, if we look here, we've got strength 54. It doesn't actually say what our official damage ratings are. Dodge, parry, and block. These are quite useful for a tank, which is kind of what we are. Dodge is the same, but parry and block uh, just increased. Oh, no, it was just parry. Okay, parry's increased a bit. Um... You used to have an attack strength here. You, it was one thing I really liked was your attack value. And they don't have that anymore. So you can't like directly compare the increase um, between one and the other. You've got to sort of mouse over your abilities and kind of um, judge it a little bit more. And I'm not so keen on that bit. I liked having the figures there right in front of you. Have you recovered the gnome quarter? Excellent. Let me make a few adjustments here and we should be good to go. The Gnome Quarter looks to be in working order. I've got you all hooked up now. I've got you all hooked up. Now we just need to tune the Gnome Quarter for reception. Head north out of Lakeshire and follow the road up to the graveyard. Once you reach the graveyard, I'll attempt to transmit. Go with honor, friend. Okay, we can do that. And there's no more quests here. Excuse me. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help, but you don't have a quest, so I can't really do a lot for you at the moment. Um, there is a quest... Oh, there's a quest over there, so we'll go and get that quest. But there's also a quest up there, and that is to go and kill a pig. So we are going to go and kill that pig shortly. That pig used to be quite a challenge, a bit like Princess. Is it Princess? I think it's Princess in Elwyn Forest, but it not really the challenge that it used to be anymore. We were raided last night, or perhaps it was the night before. I'm not really sure when it was, as I haven't had a wink of sleep in three days. I'm probably delusional at this point. <laughs> Listen, Knowles raided our supply stores and took off with everything, just like a fart in a wind. <laughs> they were in and they were out. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I never noticed that before. <laughs> My soldiers saw them running back towards the canyons northwest of here. Recover our supplies, Paladin. I accept. Up <laughs> oh, vanished like a fart in the wind. I've heard that so many times. I just didn't actually expect to read it here in Warcraft. Um, that is an expression that is used a lot where I'm from. Um, I just, yeah, I, I genuinely did not expect to hear that, uh, to, to read that uh, expression um, here and also I would just like to point out that it's not necessarily a good idea to repeat everything you hear um, especially some of my younger viewers um, if you start saying things like that to your parents you may get into trouble and please don't say I didn't warn you so the, please if, if there's anything you think you're gonna get into trouble by repeating just don't repeat it it would just play it safe all right right Marty Jane Rose once again, my garden was trampled and pillaged, and I know the brute who is doing it. It's that forsaken boar, the one Marshal Maris has taken to calling Belly Grub. I won't be able to replant the daffodils until next season now. Ruined. All ruined by that one menacing boar. Put an end to that pest. Show me his tusk and I'd be happy to reward you. He seems to spend his time foraging in the fields southwest of Lakeshire, and occasionally he roams over here and into my garden. Fair right. Man. Belly Grub. We've been killing Belly Grub for years. I... I don't know how many times I've killed Belly Grub because it's quite early on. It's something that you do quite frequently. Even if you roll a lot of ults, you usually get to Belly Grub um, pretty early on in your travel. So there's Belly Grub. And I don't know if... 
going to be much of a challenge. It certainly doesn't seem like it, it used to be a challenge. This used to be a fearsome challenge. It really was. Um, that didn't seem like much of a challenge. We've got a little fox there. Let's take that one. Take care of that one. He's out as well. Right, we've got Belly Grub's Tusk and then Gore Tusk Liver. You can make a pie out of that. I don't think we have the recipe for the pie, though. Maybe we'll have to take a trip to Stormwind soon. Maybe after we finish here. Oh, well, we're going to have to anyway. When we reach level 20, we'll take a trip to Stormwind and we'll see what recipes we can buy um, to sort of expand on our cooking ability a little bit. And we also, we could do with learning uh, first aid because there's something that we don't have yet. Is Belly Grub still at it or are you able to rid Lakeshire of the pest once and for all? Finally, the menace is laid to rest. Thank you, Grundorn. You've done me a great service. The garden shall be in full bloom this season. Have a good okay. Oh, and we're level 16 already. We got a new dungeon unlocked, Shadowfang Keep. And we're not I'm still not planning to do dungeons unless we actually get a quest to go to said dungeon. Um, but if we just quickly go to our bags and we equip that one. There we go. And I think it's Zed. There we go. We're now um brandishing a, a a bunch of flowers and yeah you can actually brandish a bunch of flowers in this game you just um i want to stand somewhere so that i can show off my bunch of flowers there doesn't that look beautiful doesn't that look wonderful my bunch of flowers i don't think i can do anything with them though uh okay let's just put those away and we want our shield back rather than the um uh, scarlet begonias okay anyway <laughs> moving on I need to get up here, and i got a feeling that I do actually need to go around. I don't think I can climb up the cliff from this side. I think that I do have to go right the way around to the road. Who's up there? Uh, gunsmith? I had no idea there was a gunsmith here. Is it, it is hunters now. Hunters are the only ones that can use guns. Used to be that um, a warrior could as well. You could have a gun, and you would sort of um, put it into your pouch, uh, into your bags, and you'd use it to uh, pull long-range enemies. I think I did mention this before. I'm going to go over to the other side of Lakeshire a minute, and then we can make a start on heading up the hill for the, for the quests. Right, we just need to go straight up the road up here. So, once we get to this little area, there's the, um, like a fart in the wind. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> I didn't even realise the quest is called like a fart in the wind. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Right, we have to go to this location to test the gnome quarter. Uh, gnome quarter crackles and pops. Can you hear me, Grundorn? Is this thing on? Ah, yes, I see you there now. Let's get to work. The first order of business is a romp through Red Ridge Canyon. It's directly north of Lakeshire. Kill every gnome that you see. Whoops, did I say gnome? I meant no. No, kill every gnoll that you see and take their collars as proof of deed. I must warn you, Grundorn, while you are out there, watch out for Ettins. My scouts have reported seeing huge, bloodthirsty Ettins roaming the canyons lately. Stay out of their way if you want to remain alive. Solomon out. I'll be in touch. Right. Now, this is an area where... Almost every person, when they start playing World of Warcraft, if they if they come through this way, if, if they're playing Alliance in the, in the human zone, they go into Red Ridge, um, they want to have a little bit of exploration once you get up here, and they get to this bit here, and then they just go north and they take a look, because, oh look, there's another area up here. and you, So you go into this, and you just kind of step foot into the area up here, which is... I think you actually go through up, uh, you go through here somewhere. But anyway, um, you get through into um, the burning steps, and you promptly die because there's some very big and very nasty things in there that will kill you on sight. And there is that Etin. He's a level 18 elite with 1,400 health. That's double our health pool. I don't think that we could take him on solo. I'd like to try. I really would. And I'm going to try, just for your entertainment, because that's what this is all about. It's all about your entertainment. So I will try to take him out, uh, but we, we're going to sort of wait a bit and um, let, let, let ourselves get a little bit more prepared for that. So let's just get rid of this one. And I'm going to eat some food a minute. So that's all of those. Next up, we're going to start working our way through the spiced wolf meats, as we've got some of those as well. Uh, they give us two stamina, and this one is two stamina. So it's both the same boost. Um, now the Etin, I think the Etin actually walks around in a big circle, so he will come 
back from this direction. So if we just take out a couple of these over this way, we've got some mystics here. Um, three mystics here in a group. So if I take these out, that one and that one there. So these three aren't any problem at all. And I can sort of just quickly work my way through them. You're out and you'll come back. They all come back. They always come back. Right, and we've got the basher over there. So I'm going to taunt that one. Let him come running over to me. And I'll throw down my consecrate again. Shield. And then hit him with the sword a couple of times. Um, or the mace, actually, at the moment. Now he's standing over there and throwing things at me, which is very impolite. So I'll do the same. <laughs> Get rid of that one. And we've got these. We've got a dirt-stained scroll. Now, that's another quest. He who controls... You've stumbled upon an old document. A knoll that wrote this propaganda is semi-literate. Brothers of Yowler hear dirt poor. Dirt poor give an orb from orcs. Dirt poor control etin things. Dirt poor crush humies. Come get dirt poor O'Graf in Rethban Cave. Cave is west, hidden in canyon. There's a paw print as a signature. There also appears to be a bite taken out of the scroll. You should probably investigate. Okay. We will. We'll investigate. So let's just run down here and gather up the little bit of loot that is left on the mystic down here. There's another collar and a little tiny slither of copper. We'll start getting these. We've got to get some of these here. Um, the Red Ridge supplies, like a fart in the wind. <laughs> I can't believe I never noticed that before. It has been a while since I leveled up a, um, a human from scratch, so... Um, yeah, maybe it's a new quest name or something, but I, I honestly I don't remember hearing that one before. It does. I do. I do like it though. It, it tickles me the fact that they've included that one as a name. So let's get that one. And there's a basher over there. Oop, no, I didn't actually mean to taunt that one. So I'll throw something at that one. How is that one dead already? I didn't do anything to it. That makes no sense. I don't think I did anything to it, did I? Maybe someone else is here and they killed it for me. That uh, wouldn't surprise me. I have had that happen before. And you don't even notice him. There could be a rogue creeping around here. And I can't see him because I'm not in group with him. And so that was the end of it. There is a canyon etin over there. We're going to get ready. This is this is our moment to shine. This is, this is our time to shine. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's just kill that one there. And he is coming towards us. I've cleared everything that I can over here. I think this is the point right here to make our stand so we want to chuck that one down we want to throw down the dynamite like that and we'll shield him log smash incoming run it does pay to move out the way of abilities it always pays to move out the way of the abilities even if you think you're doing well 500 we didn't have to use any heals or anything that was epic these paladins are so good i'm i've played plenty of characters i've, I've tried various different characters in this game and Sometimes they're just not particularly tough. The Paladin has got to be one of the best. It's definitely got to be one of the best. I mean, the Warlock is really good because you can send your pets in. Okay. Let's deal with this. Did you recover those collars? Gnome Corder crackles and pops. Good work, Grundorn. I've just been handed some important information. I would appear that our most hated enemy, the Black Rock Orcs, have wised up. The Gnome Corder words as the compartment opens up. I've transferred a few silver over to you for the Gnome uh, Noel kills. Seems to have got it in for gnomes, doesn't he? It would appear that Blackrock Orcs have finally wised up. I'm getting reports they're joining forces with the gnolls and planning an attack. I want details, Grundorn. I need you to check out Rethban Caverns, located in the western region of Redbridge Canyons. Look for orcs and dark skin. Kill any that you encounter and search their corpses for information. Or orcs and dark skin, orcs with dark skin. Um, Solomon out. Right. So we've got to look for the dark orcs. And it's the Black Rock Orcs, the, the darker ones rather than the green-skinned ones. And they are not particularly friendly, if I remember correctly. So we've got... Well, we, well, we don't have to worry about any of the other uh, gnolls. All we've got to do is... we've. I want one more supply crate, which I'll get in a minute. Um, there may be supply crates in the cavern. I'm not quite sure. If there isn't, we will grab one more. Actually, no, because we don't need to grab one. Oh, yes, we will need to. Um... I was just thinking we wouldn't actually need to because we could just hearth from inside the cavern. But I think there's another quest that we've got to do when we come out of the cavern. Tin. Our very first tin. And we're not going to be able to mine it. Let's 
Dispo dispose of this individual for interrupting our peaceful mining session here. There we go. Tin vein, our very first tin. This is very exciting. This is very exciting times. Tin ore and, of course, stone. Uh, I don't think we've got anything. Oh, yes, we do. I actually already have some. So we've got coarse dynamite and... Oh, no, it's rough dynamite that I made first, isn't it? So I got rough dynamite. Coarse dynamite does more damage. So the rough dynamite does 90 fire damage in a five-yard radius. The copper bomb does 30 fire damage and incapacitates. So that's a stun, basically. And this does 70 fire damage in a five-yard radius. 70? Wait a minute. That does 90. So why... Why is that one less? That makes no sense. Oh, well. It might be that after we've made it, it then updates um, and it does level slightly with scale. Some of these things do. Um, that would kind of make sense. So I think we'll go that way and we'll see if we can get this. There's a copper vein there. Oh, there's tin in there. I think we'll leave the copper. We won't worry about that. It's not that important. Um, so what we want is we want to head down this way. So I need. I want to go straight towards where that tin is, actually. So I think I want to go this way. And I should be able to find the tin. And let's get rid of him. There we go. On to the next one, and the tin should be right around here somewhere. There it is. Excellent. And we've got Black Rock Overseers. There they are. The bad boys themselves. So we take that tin ore, and... Do we actually need to kill some of these guys or not? I can't remember. Uh, Ardo Black Rock... Uh, Black Rock? Black, Black Orc Missive. Right. What have you found out? Just put the missive in the little compartment and I'll read it. I am fluent in Orcish. You hear a distraught yell in the background. <laughs> it looks like these orcs are here under the direct command of Yowler. That means that Yowler must have the orc invasion plan. You need to find Yowler, Grundorm. He'll be located somewhere in the northern region of Red Ridge Canyons. Kill that mongrel, search his corpse for Black Rock invasion plans. Should you succeed, bring the plans to me over at the town hall in Lakeshire. Solomon out. Right, we've got to get Yowler, and... Oh, that's Ardo dirt poor up there. We've got to go and get him. A bit of copper here. In order to get Yardo, we've got to go all the way round, so we're probably going to um, aggro him as we run past, unless we go on a big circle. We will take this guy. Actually, we're just going to run through him and just kind of generally ignore him as we run past. And see if there's any more down this way to take out as we run. He's probably going to turn... He's probably going to give up in a minute and then run back again. They usually do, after they've done a little bit. There we go. He's going to run off. So then we come up this way. We've got more tin here, which we will grab. And where do we need to go to get Yowler? I'm just wondering if it's... Oh, it's, it's out here in the canyons. Right, that's actually fairly easy. So we will have to walk back out of the canyons in order to get him. Um, but that should be fairly simple. So there's Ardo Dirtpaw. And to take him out, I'm going to wallop him with a shield. Wallop him with a shield first. I keep pressing the wrong button because my other paladin that I do play a little bit, um, it doesn't, it has that shield on button five rather than button four. I will move them. I need to do that. It's a little bit distracting having them on the wrong buttons all the time. Right, there's Ardo taken out and we've got this one here. Etting control orb. Complete quest. Level 17 already. That's pretty good. Upon touching the orb, you hear a faint click. You remove the orb from the pedestal. You now control the orb, therefore you now control the etins. Maybe you can use an etin to remove the huge boulder currently crushing former Oslo over at Lakeshire. Find an etin, use the orb on the etin, then head over to Lakeshire. Sounds good. I can cope with that. Right, we've got a whole load of orcs have just turned up in here. And what I'm thinking is, if we go and get that one as well and the basher and that black rock overseer there i will put down this one and i'm gonna die there we go okay i overestimated my abilities or underestimated their abilities one or the other if you resurrect straight at the healer you get 25 durability damage and you'll be afflicted by seven minutes of resurrection sickness. I don't really want to do that. So what you've got to do is you've got to run back to your corpse. Now, corpse running doesn't play as big a part of World of Warcraft as it used to. You used to do a lot more corpse running than you do now. There used to be far fewer graveyards. Some zones only had one graveyard and you would have to run for absolutely miles um, one in particular was here. There was a graveyard here. And you, if you died up here to those murlocs, and the murlocs were evil up the top there, you have to run all the way back up. Resurrect, 
Try to take on the Murlocs again, die, run all the way back up. I spent quite a while doing that. Um, yeah. And so there were quite a few zones that only had one graveyard. Um, it was something that you did have to be aware of. Uh, the fact that dying did come with quite a penalty. If you chose to go and, and resurrect, your, de your gear all took a major hit in... Um, uh, durability and you had the resurrection sickness you can do anything for ages and yeah it's generally bad things it was it was bad things all around so let's just quickly eat so that we um, bring our health back up and we can get a little bit of a buff that we want on there um, these guys are a lot tougher than I thought so I'm only gonna take two of them I'm still gonna take two and uh, fully healed there right Let's taunt that one and start hitting that guy. Throw down Consecrate and now we got we if we pay a little bit more attention, we should be alright. Probably if I'd paid attention the first time round, I would have been alright. It's the same old story. If you don't pay proper attention to what you're doing, um, bad things will invariably happen. So if I go there and get that one and I get that one up there. Not in line of sight. There's a stone in the way. Right. Let's throw this down. And quickly wallop them with the shield. And they're dead. Just like that. Although they did actually do a bit of damage to me there. You, you See, you've got to be careful. You're not invincible. You, you start to feel after a while that you're invincible. And so you start to act like you're invincible. And then you find out that actually you're not. Um, and you actually still fairly squishy. Even though you think you're doing really well, the fact of the matter is that um, most people are quite squishy when compared to lots of opponents. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, um, when you're throwing shields around like that, that's why you kind of feel godlike. And as you progress through Warcraft, you become a hero. Uh, you start off with, you're just kind of a useful fellow to have around, and then you kind of become a hero, and things get better still, and you, you can help people out, and you can do all sorts of things, and then you become amazing, and eventually you become, you, you go beyond being a hero, you get to, you reach almost godlike status, um, much later on, is so that you, you compete, you, um, accomplish feats that no living person could ever really hope to sort of, uh, compete with you against and I like the fact that it does that and it does kind of start to acknowledge this later on in um, later on in the series as as you work through the games it does start to acknowledge that you become you, you reach almost godhood it's, it's, you're not exactly a god but you're not far off because of the, the sheer quantity of absolutely fantastical things that you've accomplished through your time in World of Warcraft um, and I like the fact that they acknowledge this because so many games don't and as soon as you sort of reach a new point in the game they're just saying oh it's a greenhorn it's a noob um, and you've got to sort of work your way back up again like we've saved the world so many times and surely you've at least heard of us um, and that's kind of a frustrating thing in some games and it was in earlier expansions in this one as well you, you know you, you save the world and then they say oh yeah but um, you may have done that, but you, you're no match for these easy-to-kill goblins over here, or you know, stuff like that. And so that, it, it, it's sort of a frustrating aspect of um, games, especially multiplayer games, because you've got to have an individual story tailored to you, but you've also got to allow for the fact that everybody else is following the same story. So there are lots of heroes in this game, and it's it's kind of a weird thing. It really is. It's, it is... A, it's a bizarre thing to try to um, wrap your head around sometimes. If you, you do have to allow the artistic license of the people that have created the game and they're trying to tell you a story, they're trying to tell you a tale as you go through it. Elder Scrolls Online, a lot of people have said that the individual story is absolutely fantastic on that game. Um, and I did seriously consider doing a playthrough of Elder Scrolls Online because I really enjoy it. Um, However, a lot of people, their complaint is that this story is amazing and you, you know all the way through the story is telling you that you're wonderful and you've done all this and you, you're almost godlike. Um, but the fact is everybody else is running the same story. And so for some people it kind of um, spoils that whole aspect of it because of the way that that happens. Um, and yeah, I can understand that. But I mean, I think that's the thing with multiplayer games is you do have to take into account that everybody else has to be able to play the game as well 
um, is just kind of one of those things. Right, I have just about run out of time. We have found our Etin. We have captured him. So we are going to run with his Etin. We now need to just go... What have we got up there? Is that tin? Oh, it's copper. We'll ignore it anyway. Um, we just need to get down to the bridge. And then he will take the rock and chuck it off and form an Oslo. And then that is us done. We will hand in these quests. Actually, we may just turn them in now. Um, and then we can see what we're going to be doing next week in our uh, weekly playthrough. Um, if there, again, if there is anything in particular you would like me to do as we do our playthroughs, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I have got all of these different pets. I've got loads of them. So if there's a particular pet that you would like to see me bring out, um, Pierre. Okay, I'm bringing Pierre out next week, if I remember. Um, but yeah, if there's a particular pet that you would like to see me bring out, uh, by all means, um, I will. But otherwise, I will just sort of go through and I'll pick something I think seems pretty good did you recover the supplies thank you citizen without you we'd have been starved or worse been forced to go out and get food for ourselves <laughs> brilliant <laughs> right uh what am i supposed to do use use oh use again near form an oslo in order to uh, to order your subdued etin to lift up the rock there we go rock is lifted rock not so heavy puny humies where Tro? Tro on bridge? No, 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 please! <laughs> throw it on the bridge. Yes, go on, throw it on the bridge! Okay, me throw in water. I'd rather you throw it in, I'd rather you throw it on the bridge. That would have been funnier. It would have been a lot funnier. What's he gonna do? And, oh. Is that it? I feel that could have had a bit more to it. Right, bye bye daddy. I'm not your daddy! That's just no. I'm I, no, no, really. Okay, let's let's not go there, shall we? Um, right. Bye, bye, adopted son. And so I got the Yala must die and saving form in Oslo. If I quickly go and turn these two in, we can um get the XP and so on for those. See what we're going to be doing next, and then we will go back home to the inn. So he has a quest. It's not ready yet. I think that's the one that sends us on oh, to. Uh, Darkshire and uh, Duskwood. Right, Yala must die. Do you have the Black Rock invasion plans? Magistrate Solomon takes the plans from you and begins reading. Shadow Hide Army? Damn those orcs to hell. These invasion plans speak of a massive buildup of Orcish and Null forces in the east. Looks like Gathiel the Zog, the Black Rock General, is preparing to march his armies across Lakeshire and attack Stormwind directly. Uh, that's not good. That's, that's really not good. You used an Etin to remove the boulder that was crushing former Oslo. Incredible work, Grundorm. Oslo will be grateful once he regains his composure. Choose your reward. Uh, Solomon's gavel, a one-handed, that's one intellect and two stamina. We gain two stamina and we gain one and a half damage per second. So it's probably the one to take. What's this? Uh, one strength and two stamina. That gains us one strength and two stamina. Probably better, actually, if we go for the sword. Uh, it's a one-handed sword, so we'll go for that sword, actually. Um, Solomon's order. gavel would have been pretty cool, but I think we'll just go for this one. Right. Uh, captured five years ago by a battalion. Oh, filthy pig-sucking black rocks. Five clicks out from the southern DMZ. Tortured and kept alive as a urinal for young orc warriors for five years. You're good for nothing, Solomon. John J. Keishan. Keishan's alive? I thought he died. He's alive, all right, and been living like an outcast in Lakeshire for the past five months, or hadn't you noticed? Now, enough chatter. We've got people to say. What is going on? Uh, right, well, we'll find out because we're about to get this quest. Right, Colonel Trochman. Have you ever heard of John Keishan Grundorn? I was his commanding officer throughout all the three great wars. Let me tell you, that man has killed more orcs than any man alive. If anyone can stop the Black Rock invasion, it's John J. Keishan. Is that... Oh, what's, what's the film? There's a film. Um... Yeah, I, I have no idea. This is obviously a reference to something, and I'm just, uh, on the tip of my tongue, I'm not sure what it is. Let me know in the comments section which one it is, and if I remember, I will mention it next week. We need to get him to help us, or Lekshire will be nothing more than a mound of rubble and ash after the massive Black Rock army marches through Elwyn. Through to Elwyn. I heard he was fighting in the underground fight club at Lekshire Inn. Find him, tell him everything you know. Enlist the help of John J. Keishan at Lekshire Inn in Lekshire. Um... Uh, the Underground Fight Club. Be careful. No, isn't I, I, ah, whoa. Um, 
Deer Hunter, isn't that a reference to something in the Deer Hunter? I've only ever seen the film once and I wasn't all that impressed with it, to be honest. I didn't think it was that great. I keep pausing whenever I go outside because I'm pressing my button to um, select a mount and I don't actually have a mount available because I'm only level 70. Um, I'm pretty sure that is actually a reference to Deer Hunter and the underground club that the guy was in. But I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know on that one. I'm, I'm really not certain. Right, uh, that one there, we get plus one strength, so we'll add that sword. That's actually a pretty good looking sword. I like the pl I like sort of the, the plain and simple rather than the really, really extravagant. I mean, obviously, sometimes the really, really extravagant can look very, very cool. Um, we'll take that one. This is a two-handed, so we don't want that. Right, let's ignore that lot. And we are done. So we'll, we'll worry about that next time. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.